Alright, what's really good? It's your boy, Give It Up 100. I'm back in here to deal with another situation, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in to another video. Let's get straight to it. I got a rhetorical question for black people. And that is, why are y'all so in love with white people and white society and pretty much white culture? What's the reason? A people that obviously, I don't need to say it, never gave a damn about you and never will. Do you need me to say that? They haven't. They haven't given a fuck and they never will. All while you are living off of the progression and just the the, the custom of white people. Now, obviously, we live in America, right? We live in white society we live under white customs so we're gonna appropriate for the most part some white people shit not not all not everything white people but some some of their shit or even a lot of their shit so i get that but a lot of you black people y'all are out here literally walking around like mimicking white people down to a t like look at how you present yourself look at your fashion sense Look at the blonde hair. Why are you rocking blonde hair? But when white people rock the braids and all that, you are the first hypocrite to jump on front street and call that shit out. Like, just check yourself, black people. Like, look how fucking hypocritical you are. These niggas walking around with the blonde dreads, all that. Doing their hair like white boys, doing the buns, all that rainbow shit they doing. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, I remember when niggas started having the chains on their jeans. Like that dipset shit. That's literal white boy Bon Jovi type rock and roll heavy metal shit. Nigga, y'all young niggas, y'all don't know nothing, bruh. Y'all just got here. But niggas that know better, 80s and 90s heavy metal, all that. Like niggas wasn't into that, but we're familiar. We're familiar with that. That's, that's they look. Niggas started doing that. Niggas started putting that. Niggas started to incorporate that right into hip hop. You know, the no standard having ass hip hop, the no standard having ass black people shit, because nothing about black people have standard in any type of way, in any type of way. Everything is everything is welcome to come on in. There's a red carpet for everything to come on in. There's a red carpet for every race to come on in. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I mean, let's keep it real. There's no fucking standard. In black culture, there is no black culture. That's why we love white people shit. And I asked the rhetorical question, right? Once again, I'm going to ask this rhetorical question. Why are black people so in love? You know why? Because subconsciously, a lot of us don't even know it. But that's who we depend on for our progression. Because we're not progressing on our own in any type of way. You have to show me. You got to show me that. That's who we depend on white people for our progression. They claim they came and rescued us out of mud huts and, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. And, you know, we got introduced to technology through them and all that. They modernized us. That's what they think. You know what I'm saying? That's This is exactly what they're thinking. But we're showing that right now that. Wherever they go, we're going right with them on purpose. They're not dragging us with them. They're not dragging us with them. We're right behind them, like letting them lead the way. We hold on to white society or whoever. Like we done forgot. We done abandoned our own shit to the fullest. We just white people shit to the fullest. I'm telling you, bro. Just look at how niggas. Just look at how niggas, even even white women, just look at how niggas put them on the highest pedestal ever. Like, niggas, y'all damn near worship white chicks, bruh. Y'all damn near worship them. And I'm telling you, bruh, I'm telling you 100% facts. The, the, the love, the lust, and the obsession that niggas got for white women started in pornography. That's a fact. Stamp that. Mail seal deliver that. That's a fact, bro. I'm telling you, that's where it started at. 
It's nowhere else. That's what you appreciate the most about them. In most cases, real shit. A lot of y'all think it's a step up when you get closer to white people and white people shit. You think if you live in a white um um a white neighborhood, you the shit. You got white neighbors, you the shit. Y'all know this is facts. You know what I'm saying? Your white boss or whatever just gave you a raise or gave you a little level, a higher, you step your level up in the job or whatever. You thinking you the shit. You getting farther away from niggas. You getting closer to that white God and you are just the shit. It's everything to be proud of and pat yourself on the back for. Where's that? That's psychologically, like you're psychologically defeated. They got your ass right where they need your ass. You are gone psychologically. You have no grips over, over your, over, over your mental game. Like you know, what I'm saying your mental game is, is, is at an ill disadvantage. Real shit. It's being defeated, or it's been defeated by the enemy, because you have this obsession for your enemy. It doesn't make any sense. Your enemy has become something that you are solely dependent on to the point where like it's not even your enemy no more it has become your damn god white people you negroes i'm telling y'all lost yourself completely lost your god completely lost your fucking mind completely you are gone but the love for white society, there's no benefit to that. This only could be a downfall. Because, I mean, for one, they have to accept you. What if they reject you? What if you get with that white chick and y'all are in love with each other and all of that, have kids, and y'all ready to get married or whatever? Before kids, y'all ready to get married, the family reject your ass. The family don't like the fact that they gene pool just got infested, quote unquote, with black gene and all of that. You know what I'm saying? What if you run? What if you run into that? You got problems. You have problems. You can't run into that in your own race. You might run into other problems, but you're not going to run into a, a a mother or a father that disapproves you because of your race. If you're fucking within your own race, if you're messing with your own race, obviously. But you step outside of that, you have that to worry about. Y'all love white society. Love white people shit. White people are the standard to a lot of you niggas. You hate your own fucking people and you put the enemy on the highest pedestal. If you ain't sick, I don't even know what to call it. A sick people, black people. We're sick. I don't even know. That's it. That's it.